Is this coffee a joke? Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video, and I am back once again, guys, with another video. For today's video, I will be showing you guys an advanced card trick that I learned from a million card tricks video today, but I added my little twist to it at the end, which in the video he said I could add if I wanted to, but... Before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe down below, comment on any videos you guys want me to do next, and hit that little notification bell so you guys will never miss a video from me. Also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so that you guys can go check me out, say what's up, and give me more video ideas. If you guys do contact me on social media, please state that you're a fan, because I talk to so many people outside of YouTube, and if I don't know who you are, I'm not going to contact you back. Also, at 200 subscribers... On YouTube and 200 followers on Instagram I will be doing a deck giveaway three decks for three lucky winners more on that when we get there I apologize for my hiatus that I've been gone I've been a little bit sad um, for certain life reasons that I can't tell you guys about but I'm back now and I'll try to be as happy as possible and try to upload daily again for you guys so without further ado let's get right into this advanced card trick and tutorial For today's video, I have an amazing, amazing advanced card trick that I will be performing and teaching for you guys today. The credit to this trick goes out to a million card tricks. I watched his tutorial on how to do it, and I changed it up a little bit, made it my own trick, and added a little twist at the end that he recommended we could do or we could not do. I'm going to see how it works. But before we begin, I want to make sure that the cards are shuffled to everybody's liking and are completely mixed up before the trick begins. So before we start the trick, we have to take out two playing cards. These playing cards are going to be the two red kings, as you guys can see here. The two red kings. And what is going to happen here is we're going to take these two red kings, and in a second, we're going to make them find your card when you choose it. I'm going to take the cards and I'm going to cut them face up just like this and ju in just one moment you're going to be able to choose any face up card you want that you see as I spread through the cards. So when I spread through the cards you're going to choose any card that you see. Let's say you choose the nine of hearts. Okay, The nine of hearts is a good card that we can choose Okay, and we're going to take the cards and we're going to give them a cut just like that. We will take one of the kings put it near the bottom of the deck and we will take the other king and put it near the top of the deck just like that. And these kings We'll go into the deck, we can give the cards a little bit of a shake and a spread, and just like that, the cards found your card sandwiched in between them. The king sandwiched one card, which was the nine of hearts, which was your selected card the entire time. What's funny about these kings is that they're actually more magical than you think. If we take the cards and we keep them face down, we can take the kings, wave them over the deck just like that, and they actually found their brothers, the two black kings, face up in the deck. So I want to apologize in advance if the performance was a little bit quick and sloppy. But I wanted to spend more time on the tutorial than on the performance. So what you're going to need for this trick is, if you want to do my special thing at the end, you're going to need the two black kings. If not, then you can use any two random cards, and you need the two red kings. Once you have those two, you're going to get a mixed deck of playing cards, and you're going to put the two red kings anywhere in the deck, and you're going to have the two black kings on the bottom of the deck. Now what you're going to do is you're going to spread the cards out, and you're going to find the two red kings in this trick. So there's one, and I think I went past the other one. There's two, just like that. You found the two red kings in the trick. 
you're going to get a pinky break underneath the two black kings on the bottom of the deck. What you're actually doing is since you're holding a pinky break underneath these two black kings and you put these kings on top of them, now you have a pinky break underneath the four cards. And what you're doing here is you're peeling off the top king without flashing the other two kings and you're going to flip it over so that they can see it. Then you're going to take the other three kings right here and you're going to keep them squared as you put them together and flip them over. As you're flipping them over, you're going to flip the deck over and you're going to flip them over, square up the kings and place them on top. So now you have the two black kings on top of the two red kings. But people think that you have the two red kings on top. And what you're going to do now is you're going to keep holding that pinky break underneath the kings and you're going to take these two kings and you're going to place them down and you're going to mention that the red kings in a second are going to find the card that you choose. You have your pinky break underneath the two red kings with your pinky and you're going to transfer that to a thumb break. What you're going to do is you're going to break off half the cards from the bottom, flip them over and place them on top and you're going to take the rest, flip them over and place them on top. That creates it so that all these cards are face up except for the two red kings at the bottom. Once you do that, you're going to get a pinky break above the bottom king. What you're going to do is you're going to hold it kind of tight so you don't flash anything at the end. You're going to fan through the cards and you're going to have them choose any card. You got to be careful because you're going to be calling the card that they choose. So if they choose the eight of hearts, as an example, you're going to do a call. A call move is basically where you take the the card above it, you square it up flush with that, then you use your fingers in the back to peel off that card and you're going to keep it back there. Now in a normal call move you'll just place it on the bottom, but in this call move you're going to bring it along the spread and you're going to place it in between the pinky break and the other king. And you're going to take the cards and you're going to swing cut the cards and just give them a cut. And doing that puts the, basically the entire setup in the center of the deck. Now what you're going to do is with, with these kings that they think are the red kings, you're going to take one and you're going to riffle down to the bottom, probably like 5 or 10 cards, and you're going to place that king, that red king, right there at the bottom, and you're going to place this other king closer to the top. Once you've done this, you're going to do an advanced move that a million card tricks called like a browy disappearance, squaring up deck thingy. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take these cards, you're going to turn them diagonally, just like this in the deck, and you're going to use your ring finger and your middle finger to pull out the cards as you square up the rest of the cards. So now these two cards should be sticking out just a little bit. And doing it this way, you're going to hide the cards and you're going to give the cards a shake. And you're going to spread out the cards. Now when you spread out the cards, these two cards should disappear behind the spread. Just like this. You can take out these three cards. You can flip over the kings and show that the kings sandwiched your eight in the middle of them. Now remember, doing that move where you hid the kings, the king, the black kings are now face up in the middle of the deck. You're going to take the deck, place it down, take the kings, wave it over the deck, and you can mention how the kings actually found their brothers, the two black kings, that magically appeared face up in the middle of the deck. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. That that's it. That that's all I that's all I got for you guys today. See you guys in the next video. Keep mastering life. This is real. Don't look back. This is real. Stay on track. This is real. Never look back. This is real. Put yourself on the map I fought hard for what I wanna be And now I'm here I looked in the mirror Found things that weren't clear Doubt in my mind Filling my head with thoughts Depression took over But I still had my heart I wrote words into poems That was the start But now I have created this art I'm an artist Pure, strong-minded, and true Life can push me down But I will always endure